Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm doing this video from my apartment, as you can probably tell. I wanted to get it done early this morning so I could get over to the church and get along with some other meetings. But um, one of the thoughts that has occurred to me is that this is a good opportunity, and I'm trying to develop Thursday thoughts into something that's useful for everyone, helps you keep abreast of what's going on in the parish, but also to use it as a call to prayer for those who need prayer in our parish. So I'll try to deal with all of those things at one time here this morning. And um, no, I didn't get a haircut. I just took a shower this morning. My hair's still wet. So um, just uh, bear with me and um, we'll, get, we'll get on with the topics. I um, wanted to make you all aware of the fact that on Saturday, um, Several of us are going to the city to engage in the Don't Walk By program, which is a program designed to get homeless people off the streets of Manhattan into extra care, either shelters or other permanent placement. A lot of good services. I won't bore you with all the details, but Sue Willis and Deb Esposito and I are all going. John Meichner was going to go and signed up and actually did the online training, but his doctor has ordered him not to because of some medical issues. So uh, keep John in your prayers as he goes through the next few weeks to help determine what's gonna be those, uh, the treatment for those medical issues. Um, I wanted to remind you also that on Palm Sunday, this coming Sunday, at our, we'll have both at 8.30 and a 10 o'clock service. And at our 10 o'clock service, um, depending on the weather, um, we may gather outside to begin a procession, which is a customary thing on Palm Sunday. Um, we have not been able to do that, obviously, for the last couple of years, but um, we we'll try to do it on Sunday. The ushers will guide you when you come to the church about whether we're gonna have a procession, and if we do, It'll begin out on the front steps and kind of the driveway area, and we will process in from there. Um, and then, of course, we have services on Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday um, next week, and that will be at 7 o'clock each of those times. Uh, so please attend uh, either or both of those services if you are able. I wanted to ask your prayers for a couple of people a couple of people particularly. Um, you may have seen the email yesterday um, about Marie DeLuca's death. She is the mother of Nadine Fletcher, one of our vestry members and also one of our food pantry volunteers. Um, so uh, the, the wake for Marie will be this afternoon and as the email stated yesterday, the funeral services will be on Friday. Uh, so as, as Nadine and her family go through these next few days, keep them in your prayers um, as they go through the difficult time of saying the earthly goodbye to their mother. Um, also remind you that we are going to be having a funeral and burial service uh, for George Huguenin uh, on April the 30th, which is the, uh, it'll be about two Three weeks, three weeks from now, I have been working with Michelle Kessel, uh, George's daughter, as well as working with Marlene, George's wife. Um, George and Marlene were, in the past, very, very active and dedicated members of the parish. George served as treasurer and on the vestry. Michelle now has served on the vestry, so the next generation um, comes along and fulfills the promise of the prior one. Um, so it's it's been a really good time for me being able to be with um, the Huguenin family, Michelle and James and Ken. And at the funeral service, it looks like James, um, the grandson of George, is gonna be our Crucifer and our Lamb. Um, which I'm sure will be a difficult day for him because he was close to his granddad. But uh, I want you to keep all of them in your prayers as we go forward through this um, 
resurrection time for Christ, uh, and it's also a resurrection time for all of us. Um, one more thing I want to tell you about is that I had been really, really impressed with our confirmation class of youth, seven of them, which is a wonderful gift to our parish that we have kids who are actually learning about the life of Christ, and I hope that I'm teaching them well. It's been quite a challenge for me because I've never done this to this group, with this group, I, I should say not to, but I've never done this with this group or any other such group uh, in my ministry, and it's a challenge, but it's also a blessing because I'm really enjoying being with them, um, telling them about our purpose in being church in the world around us, and so keep all of the youth in your prayers. They range in age from 11 to 15, which is, as you all know, if you have kids, or even if you have observed kids, you'll know what a difficult time that is. I suspect that you probably know that just by virtue of the fact of having been that age at one time. So keep all of them in your prayers as we work toward having them all confirmed on June the 4th at the cathedral. Um, they are a lovely group of kids. I think I'm beginning to um, reach them. I hope so. So pray for me also, because that's that's, uh, that's quite an endeavor for me. Um, if there's any other questions you have about what's going on in the parish, email me or email Janet. Um, Janet's email address is on our website admin at slcsomers.org. That's the way you can always get in touch with us. So God bless you all. Uh, I look forward to hopefully seeing you on Palm Sunday. I look forward to all of you having a good Holy Week as we move toward Christ's Day of Resurrection on Easter.